good evening everyone so today i am going to talk about the topic arithmetry so before going to this topic i would like to tell something about the cornea so we all know that the cornea is the most important structure of our eyeball because it is transparent and this transparency will uh, help us to achieve the vision mm? okay so cornea is that much of important structure and also uh, there are different types of instruments that were available for measuring the dimensions different dimensions of cornea so the anterior one by six of the eyeball is uh, the cornea and the diameter of cornea in vertically is about 10.6 millimeter and horizontally is about 11.7 millimeter and its shape is prolate ellipsoid and the central 4 millimeter of the cornea is the most important area because it is the very sensitive part of cornea okay so this cornea can be mainly classified into four zone the central optical zone the paracentral or mid peripheral zone or the peripheral zone or the uh, limbal or um, uh, limbal zone okay uh, so the central optical zone is about 3 point uh, sorry 3 to 4 millimeter and the paracentral zone is about 7 to 8 millimeter and peripheral or transitional zone is about 11 millimeter and the limbal zone the limbus to limbal area mm. uh, so this uh, zone is about 12 millimeter next is about the radius of curvature of the cornea so when considering the center 4 millimeter area the uh, anterior radius of curvature is 7.8 millimeter and the posterior radius of curvature is about 6.5 millimeter in next slide uh, i have mentioned about different instruments that were available for assessing the corneal area Mm. so uh, first one is the window reflex it is not an instrument based test it is a uh, basic uh, test for assessing the corneal uh, health okay uh, so the second one is our characterometer and after inventing the characterometer uh, they ha they have invented the characteroscope and after that photo characteroscope and then video characteroscope okay so in this class i will be going to tell only about the characterometry so characterometry the uh, the instrument i first i will show the picture of the characterometer so this is the picture of characterometer these are the two types of characterometer okay so this one the this one is the firstly invented characterometer uh, and it names as uh, javel shears characterometer and this is the secondly invented characterometer and its name is uh, bosch and long characterometer okay okay then um, next i will tell about the characterometer okay so the characterometer characterometry is mainly based on the uh, size of the parkinji image okay there are four parkinji images in our eyes and the first one is forming in the cornea and this image will be uh, the basic thing or the basic way for measuring the uh, corneal radius of curvature as well as the uh, asti corneal astigmatism of that patient by using characterometer okay so in case of characterometer uh, another main important thing is uh, we are considering this corneal surface as a convex reflecting surface mm? so we are considering this uh, corneal surface as a convex reflecting surface okay so uh, we can measure this uh, corneal uh, radius of curvature by taking the uh, object size and image size of this instrument uh, while we measuring there will while we measuring the uh, radius of curvature of this cornea we have an object the object will be the cornea and also we will we should have an image because we are observing using a telescope in this characterometer so there will be a object and a image so uh, either we can uh, make the object as a constant and image as a variable for measuring the radius of curvature uh, in uh, by using a characterometer or uh, we can make the image as a constant and object as a variable uh, for measuring the characterometer reading okay so these are the basic principles regarding characterometry next is about the advantages of characterometry 
so this uh, characterometer can be used for measuring the um, radius of curvature corneal astigmatism and the third important thing is for contact lens fitting and the fourth important thing is iul power calculation okay so these four main points are the basic points or the basic advantages of characterometry and the third uh, sorry and the fourth and fifth point is it is very low cost and also the maintenance requirement is very less okay so these are the advantages next is about the types of characterometer i have already told that either we can make the object size is uh, as a constant or the image size as a constant okay so in case of boschellum characterometer the uh, object will be the constant and in case of javel shears characterometer the image will be the constant so these are the two types of characterometer the first firstly invented characterometer is this instrument this is javel shears characterometer but it is not that much of commonly using in nowadays and this one is the second type of characterometer the boschellum characterometer but it this one is using uh, very commonly in all clinics so uh, let me tell about the parts of this characterometer this is the locking system of this characterometer and this is the eyepiece for observing the uh, optometrist and this is the area where a patient will uh, facing the instrument okay this is the chin rest this is the head rest and uh, this is the focusing system of this instrument this is the focusing knob of the instrument and there will be a two drums uh, in the right left side as well as right side of the instrument we can see only one drum in this picture so these two drums will be the main uh, two drums for uh, measuring the instrument because these dr two drums are for measuring the horizontal meridian as well as the vertical meridian of the uh, patient's cornea mm? okay so uh, first we will focus this instrument and then we will observe the mire of that patient's cornea and we will coincide that mire by using this horizontal as well as vertical uh, drums so this is how we will measure the um, uh, corneal readings by using by using a characterometer okay so the mires can be entirely different in both two types of characterometer because uh, this is the mire that we can see in a boschellum characterometer and this is the mire we can see in a javel shears characterometer in boschellum characterometer uh, the mire will be like this here there will be two plus sign and uh, two minus sign so we uh, have to coincide the practitioner should coincide this minus sign and this two plus signs after coinciding these two uh, signs uh, we, we we will get a reading in the right and left drum of that instrument that will be the radius of curvature of or the horizontal or vertical meridian of that that patient's cornea okay this is how we will measure the uh, horizontal as well as the vertical meridian of that patient by using a boschellum characterometer next is about the javel shears characterometer in case of javel shears characterometer the mire will be like this there will be a green block and a red block there will be a green block and a, a red block and uh, we should coincide this green block with the uh, orange block sorry it is not red block it is orange block okay so we have to coincide uh, the above mire by using the drum of that instrument available in that uh, side of that instrument okay so this is how we will measure the uh, radius of curvature or astigmatism of that patient by using a characterometer so that's all about the topic thank you if you all have any doubts please ask me